Today we are going to talk about very important topic how to take care of if else condition if you have not watched these videos that I have created I would suggest you to go and watch that first in this video we are going to talk about multiple ways to handle if else conditions there are several functions available based on your choice you can pick one of those and that's uh, complexity of each functions also it depends like how your data is available how you want to play with those functions to get your required value so let's have a look what all options are available when we are talking about if else conditions so here in this database where uh, you might have null values and you want to replace it with some more meaningful values because uh, if we are using these these values uh, these column values which are null Sometimes they are used in your program on procedures, functions, and if it is null, obviously it uh, it does not uh, calculate well with your rest of the logic. So, and from representation perspective, also if you want to pull out the data and want to throw it on a dashboard or a reporting UI, you may want to handle null carefully. So, to handle null using if else conditions, there are multiple ways. The simplest one is using NBL function. So what it says if you have if you have a column or expression that might result in null value so you can provide another expression or value which can return or replace this null value with a new option so let's have a look how it works on the SQL I've created few queries on our our favorite employee table so what I have done here is we have employee name, number, permission, and then if I show you in a Scott employee table, you will see that this column has a lot of places null available. And this column has one null. So what I'm trying to just do here, I want to present some values hypothetically. And I'm, I just want to say if values are not available here, let's replace it with 900 as a fixed value so if I run this query now you will see that wherever is commission null I have replaced it with another expression in my case I have done it 90 cross 10 but you can choose any other value that you want so this is the simplest way of replacing null with some min meaningful values the other option could be if you if you have more complex scenario where you want to also take care of if it is not null or if it is null right so we have another functions like nvl2 where you can pass multiple expressions and how to read these expressions if expression one is the source value or expression that may contain null so i want to return two type of values expression two when expression one is not null expression 3 when it is null so basically you want to flip the values if it is not null versus null if i run this there is another query written for it what i've done in case commission is null not null i want to print mgr value so let me make mgr column here as well so basically not null and null so if it is not null as you can see printing mgr value otherwise i am printing 900 so this very simplistic and standard way if you want to replace with some value that you want the next example is how to handle and this decode works really well with the case right so we showed how case work in case of if else condition very similarly if we want to replace if else condition with the uh, with another option of using functions so we can use decode what it says you will have expression and that expression will be matched with the value here so this expression will have a match with it if it matches it will do the result otherwise it will go for second search and so on and so forth so the example that we took here what we are doing we have decode on commission we are checking if the commission is null let's print mgr otherwise let's print 900 and it can go as complex as you want so if i run this one so you can see where the commission is null where the commission is null it is printing mgr but in case in this case you will see 
that this also has null value that's where it is printed as null so this is another way of implementing then there is very interesting function uh, that's uh, with oracle it's called colis and it's in the colis what you can do you can provide any number of uh, expressions and once that expression first evaluates from left to right as not null that value will be written so to show what i'm talking about this is the representation of colis function where expression 1 to n can be followed and as soon as it forms not null value the first not null values it breaks from there and it returns the value there so in this example what i have done employee employee name commission manager is i'm just passing commission which means if it is null go for mgr if mgr is null go for 900 and so on and so forth so let's run this example and see so here you will see wherever commission is null it gave priority to mgr so mgr is printed here where commission is not null it printed commission where commission is null it gave preference to mgr this is an, another example and when both of these are null it gave 900 so this could be another pattern where you want to have first not null value return and uh, these are all good examples which you can implement and these are very practically useful uh, functions that you will use in uh, your procedures you will use in any dashboarding reporting i hope this is useful